Hello everyone, glad to have you with me, CK Too Much here, back again with Aegon, the Conqueror of the Iron Throne. And before we get started guys, please do remember to like and subscribe, your support really helps me to keep going. Uh, I'm um, just short of 500 subscribers away from becoming monetized, hopefully, so if you guys really, if you guys enjoy my content and you want to help me out, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Uh, but alright, yeah, so we are back here to check in on with Aegon. Uh, he's uh, getting up there in age. He's about 64 years old. Uh, he's just had to conquer the Stepstones down here uh, and give it over to Dan, the usurper, just so he wouldn't get pissed off. So now he has his little kingdom down here. The Iron Islands has their little kingdom up here. So now we are in a good position. Now when it comes to Aegon, so he's, you know... At the end of his life, basically, um, he had to recently put down uh, a little bit of conflict between Aria, his daughter, and heir, and Arion. Uh, and it looks like a lot of people have started making moves against Aria. Uh, I've found multiple assassination attempts. Uh, yeah, but here we have this. So Jaycar is trying to uh, bring take her down a notch, basically. So this would surrender the kingdom of a reach to a vassal i don't want to do that don't want to do that so i will have no part in this scheme uh, because i want her to be set up to succeed me uh let's see adrena lit it oh yeah she was in my prison for a long time mary whoever you want honey mary whoever the f you want sir theo she married some random knight uh, and he is trying to screw, I guess, uh, Keltigar over there in Duskendale. No. No part in those crazy, crazy schemes. All right, and how is uh, Visenya doing? She's 66. She looks great. Her daughter is set to inherit. She's still got her dragon, Aranon, and he's coming of age. Oof, and now we're hearing about plots to kill me. Good thing I have a loyal Master of Whispers. I think I already, yeah, I already lifted him to nobility. I don't think there's much else I could do for him. Ah, Warden of the West, we can go ahead and give that over to my son. Uh, let's see, Mr. Betley and Miss Moore have gotten married. That's fine, I don't care. Please leave, I don't know who you are. Ooh, actually, you could have been a good commander, but that's fine. I don't need you. I don't need you. When it comes to other goals for Aegon, obviously, we want to make sure that this, the, um, Succession is smooth, and that the dynasty continues, which is why we did bring on a new wife, although she, I have doubts if she's going to be pregnant or not. Um, I would also like to consider maybe colonizing this area further. Uh, you want to betroth Miss Storm. Okay, we can do that. You want to bring Magor Lawliston to the King's Guard? I don't think so. He doesn't really look very good. Uh, a new Lord Commander is needed. What happened to the old Lord Commander? What happened to the old one? Did he die? What happened? Mathos Flumford is the acting commander. Oh, he died of cancer. Of course he died of cancer. This is Crusader Kings too. Uh, Alright, so a new Lord Commander. Um, I guess I could give it to Bonifer. He's pretty good. I would give it to Ellis, but he's not the right religion. So let's give it over to Mr. Belmont. Uh, all right, then let's look at some good knights. We got a red wine, possibly, a ricker, and a pile. Now, we love the piles. Shout out the piles, but I'm not putting them on there. Oh, and I need an advisor. Oh, let's bring Arion onto the council. Hmm. Maybe if I give him a role in the government, he won't be so crazy. Although it would um, probably help him make allies in the capital. So yeah, we're having a real issue here. Oh, call court out of hiding. I didn't even know we were in hiding. Uh, oh, you know what? I would love to go on a tour. So I will make a progress of my realm. I wish to see everything. So we're going to go to as many places as we can go. I'm gonna bring uh, a shit ton of, or a bunch of, of people in my entourage. Let's do it. Let us do it. So I'm gonna start 
by visiting the place where the war began. So we will go ahead and visit Jaycar in the Stormlands on our tour. This is where it started, where we fought the Baratheons. So, yeah, we'll visit that first. Oh, and I guess I should go ahead and expand uh, the Red Keep, yeah? If I can. Prove fortification. Oh, no, no, that's a lot of money. All right, the Celtigars and the Valerians are feuding, becoming increasingly tyrannical for control of this area. Oh, you know, I've actually never really looked at the trade map in this game before. Wow, the Yunkai are trading up north even. That's pretty crazy. All right, so you and your enormous entourage of lords, lord soldiers, and camp followers are finally nearing Storm's End, and you start addressing the small folk with a huge bodyguard. Oof. The, the, my words are not received well, and people are rather unsettled. Okay, so that may have probably word that I'm going to tax them, and they're probably mad about all their lords changing, and probably the dragons, too. The local lords are having a feast and have invited me to join them. Okay, I'll, I can meet with them. See. Everything is going well, and you learned a lot about the Stormlanders' customs and etiquette. Okay, nice. Uh-oh. You and your huge entourage were traveling the roads when a group of bandits suddenly attacked. Your bodyguard closes around you, and the assailants hit you from all sides. You must prepare to fight. So 82% chance we will repel them. Ooh, this is a small chance. 3% chance of Balerion. Five fifty percent chance dying. Uh -huh. So if that if that three percent triggers, he's will fifty fifty die. Uh, all right, let's see what happens. All right. So after a brief skirmish, you managed to fend off the bandits. They quickly retreated and melted away. Scary, very scary. Um, so we really can't leave the capital without getting threatened. All right. So after many days traveling over sweltering hills, you and your entourage have made it to Storm's End. The soldiers guarding the gates hail your coming and allow you entry. The palace seems to be struggling. Set in foggy hills, you see the famished and desperate small folk as you walk through. House Targaryen does not seem to be governing Rel here. There's a lot of banditry and crime. Jaycar, what are you up to, bro? What are you up to? He's doing a shitty job, apparently. I guess he's 22. <clears throat> Who did he end up marrying? Did he go through with that wedding? Yeah. All right, he married the Mantaran girl. All right, so he wants justice before the court. He claims that Raymond Cunnington had his um, family member murdered. Is that true? Ooh, looks like he was murdered. There's evidence. So, yeah, he must be made to answer for these crimes. So he has been arrested. Can we call him to trial? Okay, we have to be done with this event. So let's put him on house arrest. He is a lord. He hasn't been convicted yet. All right. So let me take a short... Uh, we travel onwards. Okay. Uh, well, I'm back home. Well, you know what? I'll just send him to the Night's Watch. He doesn't need a trial. <laughs> okay. So then let's go ahead and head out west, and hopefully we won't die. So let's go ahead and visit. My son, Arion, at Casterly Rock. And then after that, I guess we'll go to Heron Hall. So who um, holds High Garden? She gave High Garden away? That's crazy. To a Belmore? Oh, that was really dumb of her. Um, okay, so I need to go ahead and give this away. Okay, so... Once again, we have unsettled the entourage. Uh, oh, look at that. My maester did some good with his money. And he has published a respected book. That's good. Ah, okay, no, no, I won't build that. I've been replaying, or I've been playing the Sayoshant uh, Persia game now that it's finished. The, the series is finished, and I always have so much money. So I, I, I almost forgot that I have no money in this game. All right, so walking amongst the sweltering veil of Casterly Rock, you see the land is dotted with mines which pour gold in astonishing quantities into the realm. Okay, that's cool. I didn't get this event the last time I did these tours. 
Whilst in Castle Rock, a grave event has occurred. Your courtier Manala seems to have taken a disliking to Sir Roland. And during a feast, Lord Paramount Arian Targaryen started to fight. All right, I have evidence that this is Roland's fault. Well, maybe he should go to my King's Guard. No, no, he's a shitty knight. At the feast, Malara cut the throat? The servant? Jesus, that's pretty harsh. That's pretty harsh. Oh, I could appoint her to the King's Guard. That's kind of funny. That's pretty harsh, man. You know what? Maybe I should just go ahead and marry her off. Yeah, I'll just hush it. But Jesus, that's uh, pretty brutal. Oh, wow. She's the son of a, of a Lydon. How did that work? Her grandfather's a Lydon. Ah, her mom was a Lydon. Okay. Jeez, that's pretty brutal. All right. So Tristan Sitilvier. Uh, barbarically, ah, uh, she was barbarically tortured and mutilated. Hmm. Well, kind of a he said, she said. And I mean, who am I going to believe? Some Westerosi Valerian lord or some random lady? Oh, she doesn't have a hand. So that is a good point. Hmm. Well, I mean, she is missing a hand, and, but he doesn't really have a history of doing this kind of thing, does he? He's not like an impaler or anything like that. Uh, so maybe I'll just tell him to pay some money. Uh, oh, okay. And this merchant wants to collect some money from my son, who apparently hasn't paid. So I will order him to pay it. you got to pay your debts. I even pay debts to people who I don't owe money to. <laughs> so people are always coming bothering Aegon because he killed the people that owe money with his dragons. But All right, so that trip was uh, a bit odd. So we had a couple of people wanting justice and my son apparently owing people money not wanting to pay. So not good for my son so far. They have a um, pretty bad track record. Okay, so we're going to go to the Vale. But first we're going to stop by Heron Hall. All right, and that has been accepted. Okay, good. Yeah, you need to get out of here. Hopefully she won't be cutting any other throats. Jesus, I can't imagine a, an 18-year-old girl slitting someone's throat because they spilled wine on them. That's intense. That's crazy. Uh, all right, so on to Black Tide Castle. Once again, we're unsettling people. We're going to cause a revolt with this big entourage. Uh, you want me to help you kill him. No, why? I mean, I guess I can just kill him for you with my... I don't I don't know who he is, to be honest. So, but I guess I don't really care. Um, hmm. All right, Hall. Conditions are foggy as Hall finally comes into view along the road. An honor guard of soldiers and lords awaits you before the gates, along with the castellan who personally greets you. The Lady Paramount overlooks much of the surrounding rise. It has impressive towers which surround the castle. The walls have robust gates and portcullises. There's vaulted hills, bridges, garrets, dungeons, so on and so on. So it's a massive castle. Not too descriptive. Uh, Alright, so a petition of justice before the court. But it, she doesn't say for what. Absolutely no. She doesn't say for what. Justice for what? So he's clearly not guilty. For what? You didn't even say what. Uh, right, and it looks like Barra Belmore, who's gotten a bit drunk. That's embarrassing. All right, well, that was a, a fast trip. Not much really happened there. So now let's go visit my daughter up in the Erie. The area in the Erie. All right, cool. And she is, he is still in prison. Oh, what's going on? Ooh, okay, so this random lady has gotten her hands on this dragon. That's not good. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to give her the good old-fashioned tainted touch, because we don't need another dragon rider. 
Those dragons are from my kids. All right, and we need another priest. Uh, I'll get Jessalyn. All right, we are just pissing people off everywhere we go with this huge host. Uh, some knights approach you. Their leader asked if they could join you on their travel, and you notice that they were not from this land. Uh, well, he is a Veilman, so I don't know, but um, okay. Well, what would he do? I have he's not. I'm not paranoid, so I don't know if I would necessarily be worried, but I am cynical and proud, so I don't know if I'd want some weird commoner with me. So. I don't know what the deal is with that, but all right. So you you and your entourage pass a group of rocks, and the area is sighted on the mountains. You make your way through the gate and into the castle. Now this is cool. The castle has high stone walls, with moss climbing up them, and huge square towers flank the gate and walls, giving a commanding view of the surrounding ridge. Very cool. So when I'm I'm greeted by my daughter and a party of Targaryen knights. I care not for these Veilman people. <laughs> okay, so apparently we don't like these mountain folk. I guess that knight who asked to join me was a little too bold. All right, who should I go to protect Arion the Evil? The Evil. Wow. Okay, so he has the name The Evil. He's not expecting that. Ooh. So he... Ah, he has more than one wife. Okay, so Agor Hill, but was a bastard. Hmm, weird. Uh, has died to stillborn. That's too bad. And he wants a defense. So let's send Mathos Flemport. Okay, so Laria refused to drink with me. How dare she insult me? Well, she looks like an interesting character. A ruthless master seductress. Put her on the king's guard. All right. Ooh. So Norman Tumbleton says that my daughter owes him 150 gold. Wow. Oh, no. The debt must be paid. Okay, so he owes money. All right, here we go. So he says that he was tortured by the Tarleys? He was... De oh, okay, so... Wait, Sir Orbert Tarly was... He says that he was tortured by his brother? I'm good for his cousin? Um, I mean, I don't. we don't really have much to go off of, and you don't have any scars or anything. I mean, you're crazy and you have gonorrhea, but I would say we don't really have much evidence to say that. All right, what plot does my daughter want me to join? Ah, she wants to be regent. We can do that. I don't even know who this is. Uh, you revoke... Who who is my regent? I don't. Oh shoot! Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, I I will accept that. Um, I didn't realize that he was my regent. I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, I mean, he's relatively loyal. So, well, we're almost done with our trip. Yeah, I don't know how that managed to happen. That's that's weird. Um, let's now go up north, and we'll almost call it a day. So we'll go see what my husband's doing. Oof, okay. Jaycar, Jaycar and Aenira, Aria are denouncing each other, calling each other tyrants. That is not good for the succession. Okay, there's a really high temperature. People plotting against Aria, people boasting about how she is a horrible ruler. So I have a bad feeling about this. Cersei Wayne Wood wants to get married. Get married and get the hell out of here. I don't know who you are. I would ask you to leave if I could. All right, once again, we have upset people up north as well. Uh, oof, okay. All right. I fly on Valerian the Black Dread through the snowy skies. Good. Look at that. Baron apparently has been a good ruler. Uh, there's merchants, traders, and farmers all over the place coming to trade their wares. Every th okay, the economy is good. It's good for you. He's done a good job, apparently. He's the one son that has not disappointed me. And I guess Aria, there was no, uh, didn't really say if she was doing well or not. 
All right, so apparently reports have been coming in of drunken rampages. So, my lord, I will deal with these men. Ooh, so I... You have the offending men dealt with and Leslin reprimanded. Ooh, it's a crate call. That's great. Oh, I also have to go down with the Dorn. I forgot about Dorn. Adrek Kral has said that Gendel the Unchast has mutilated him. Well, he is wounded. And he has a really bad reputation. So I will order him to pay money. There's a good chance, but we can't be sure. Yeah, and nothing too eventful happened. So finally, let's go down to Dorne. Uh, if I can. Oh, no, I guess our trip is over. Ah, or we need more money. Mr. Grafton, marry as you please and get the hell out of here. Okay, so we need some more money. Uh, so once I have more money, I guess we will continue on. Oh, nice. Okay, so this dragon rider has been has been killed. What's this? Ah, okay, cool. So Aegon's High Hill has become a mighty fortress. That's good. Uh, okay. I don't know how I got this guy as a rival. Probably because I killed his family. So we can give him the good old tainted touch. Oh, nice. And she has defeated the whores. Ooh, okay, so I've been using too much dark divination, and I have become possessed. That's not good. Honestly, I'm not sure how that's going to fill things in for my role-playing. Um, I think we could just translate that as he's using too much black magic, and whatever he uses to serve that is taking over. Uh, oh, I'm double-possessed. Okay. That's scary. Okay, so let's... um, Mr. Rain, marry as you please, and GTOF. GTOF. Okay, so I'm going to go on one final trip to Dorne, and then that will be the end. All right, good. So the dragon has been uh, tamed. Or not tamed, but threat has been removed. All right, so this will be our final place. So we will go to Dorne, and yeah, Jnar, I can send you Mr. Renly Delving. Uh, I guess I need to find... A suitable commander. Uh, I, I don't want to deal with it now. All right, once again, small folk pissed off that I'm showing up. Uh, ooh, okay, so this guy, Mr. Brindlewood, uh, whose daughter randomly killed someone, says that the food is, might be poison. Oh, he's worried about that. Okay. Uh, all right, the food tastes fine but it's not poisoned. I'm a cynical guy. I won't believe him. All right. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's an impressive castle, and my family came to deal with, or my family came to greet me. And Miss Claire wants to meet me in my bedchamber. Okay, so we, lovely courtier. Yeah, why not? She has become my lover. I could even probably marry her if I wanted to. No? Oh, okay. Well, all right. So Tristina Gargolin, Gargolin, that's a funny last name, says that her brother Gathin was murdered by Moors. And it looks like it's open. It's out in the open. So he must be arrested. And let's just kick him to the... Oh, we can't kick him to the Night's Watch. So we'll have to call him for trial. All right. So Janar and I had a really good time together. And I wanted to do it again soon. So good, though. My son has become my friend. Two courtiers have brought a dispute. The inheritance of a small property. Uh, let's... Ah, uh, okay. So Miria, I don't really see how she has a claim. Uh, I guess I'll just give it to him because he has power. All right, so we can go ahead and end this for now. And let me see. Can I... I want to change my regent... But it looks like I can't. Okay, so how many more places do I need to go to? I'm still on tour? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I guess I can go to the Iron Islands. Oh, but I don't have the money. Well, that's okay. So 
we'll finish our tour next time, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here, but it was nice to check in. It was interesting to go to my uh, kids' realms and see how things were. So apparently the Stormlands is being badly managed. My uh, People are mad at my son uh, for owing money. Things are okay with my daughter. Nothing really bad happened. And then ba Baron apparently is doing a great job. And I was very happy to see my son, Jane R. down in Dorne. So very interesting. Curious to see how that's going to turn out. So, you know, it could be that Arion the Evil, as he's become known, and Jaycar are really not good, uh, not good options as heirs, but they might put up a fight. Baron, apparently things are going well, and Jainar has uh, charmed me. So very interesting to see how the succession is going to uh, shake out. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And then we'll finish our tour and um, maybe try to expand our influence in Essos a little bit more. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I think Aegon is kind of retiring at the moment, although he is experimenting with some dark magic, and that might lead him down a bad path. I think absolute power can be very corrupting. So we'll see how that develops. Maybe he'll start doing crazier and crazier things as he gets older. But all right, guys, thanks for joining me, and I will see you in the next one.